Hi guys, just an update on my uh, video camera mounting rig system uh, that I've experimented with in a previous video and I'll link it in down below if you haven't seen it where I installed a uh, sliding uh, sliding pull out mechanism under my bench here to possibly mount a camera on that and slide along the bench and move in and out to allow me to uh, film teardowns and all the other stuff, mailbag and all the other stuff which I shoot on one of my main benches here and as you're probably aware I pretty much the only thing I use at the moment is a Manfrotto uh, what is it the 785B uh, Modo tripod and I really like this bloody multimeter leads getting in the way here and uh, this is what I use it's got one of these uh, joystick uh, attachment you know pivot heads it can rotate from side to side and up and down it can go vertical and I've also done a video which I'll link in as well where I convert this into a microscope attachment by plugging the whole thing upside down and uh, you know I don't mind this but it gets in the way but it is very flexible because I can move the thing up and down so I can get low shots on the bench here like this of products like directly facing front panels of things and then you know this isn't as high as it goes it does actually go higher again than this if I extend the legs out and if I can get that damn thing back in there there we go and um, yeah it's not bad but it's in the way you know I'm always sort of you know straddling the thing like this you know trying to work and I'm working around the camera and it it is a bit annoying but it is incredibly flexible you'll notice that I do a lot of uh, you know I do a lot of different angle takes and things like that I'm always moving adjusting my camera putting on screwing on and off my macro lens and uh, stuff like that so it's really it's really good just to be able to get here and then zoom out and get this angle and that angle but there's some disadvantages as I said got to straddle it I can't really get over the bench like that because you know it's just not really practical sometimes I do sort of you know hold it like that if I want to get a vertical shot that's pretty much why you never see direct down vertical shots on my uh, video blog here so anyway I thought I would uh, try out one of these uh, Manfrotto three section articulated arms this is the model uh, 396 and we'll take a quick look at it but it doesn't seem to do the business but anyway it is a neat bit of kit so I'll show you but before I show you that I'll just uh, quickly state my aims of what I'm trying to get here on the bench what solution I want for my camera basically I want the joystick rem uh, joystick maneuverability of this thing I mean this is really nice I just love being able to just you know uh, sort of pan and tilt that around and then zoom in uh, you know it's absolutely beautiful so I love these joysticks it's just got a, like a thumb thing on there and you can adjust the friction it's not like I do you know like uh, you know panning shots like that or anything like that I don't need that I just need to be able to change the angle quick and easy like that I need to be able to bring it in and my camera in and out like this so that I can get uh, wide shots of uh, products and stuff like that of course I need to be able to adjust the height like that and um, which this one does all that beautifully except as I said you get in the way but the extra thing I really want is it'd be nice to be able to sort of swing this inside over the bench so I can look down and things like that and then I could sit here on my chair and actually you know um, point things out without the whole tripod thing getting in the way so that was the goal of this uh, sliding mechanism which I installed here so I could move it in and out slide it across and then get over like that and some people have suggested uh, you know one of these uh, Maggie lamp type articulated arms and I do have one of these things here in the lab but you know yeah it's it's going to kind of work you know I could attach a camera to here but there's nothing there's no locking mechanisms to sort of keep it stable and the thing is when you're using a video camera like this I'm always you know pressing buttons on the thing and I don't want it when it's on the tripod like this is quite stable I can push a button and the camera hardly moves at all and I can you know operate the camera without the thing just bouncing all around the place and you know screwing up my shot generally so I want something fairly rigid but something that's easy and quick to sort of uh, sort of release and things like that and no before anyone asks again no I can't hang anything from the roof completely out of it I can't really hang anything from the uh, shells up here they aren't sort of you know stable enough all the all these shells up here do actually move they're not attached to the wall or anything like that so 
you know, really, I've either got to get something mounted to the bench like this or something, well, floor mounted. I've already got the tripod. So maybe the tripod is the solution with one of these Manfrotto things, which I'll show you in a minute. One of these uh, flexible arms, which are really neat. Phone's ringing. Better answer it. So here's this Manfrotto uh, 396. They've all got part numbers. 396 is the part number. It's a three section articulated arm. There are different models of this. That This is the dual arm one. So this is uh, can hold more weight than the single arm variety. So I wanted, as I said, I wanted something rigid that when I mount my camera on here, um, the top here, oh, sorry, you can't see that. When I mount my camera on this bracket here, I don't want this thing to uh, you know, uh, just move around and stuff like that. So it's got all these locking mechanisms here and you can just slide these things in and out. They're just single turn. They're not, um, I'll show you a close up of that, but they're actual, you know, you can't just smoothly do that. They have like a, uh, a, a ratchet uh, mechanism in there, but you know, you can slide this all the way along and you can do lots of neat things. And I can move my camera bracket all the way up and around like that and uh, this is the standard camera uh, bracket mount that comes with it but I was going to get like a joystick um, if this sort of worked out well I was going to get like a joystick mount for this thing so um, you know it it looked the business but there's a few issues with it and it's it's decent quality I don't mind it for fit for things in fixed locations it's really quite neat but you can see it's not entirely rigid there even though I've got it all screwed in place you know and when it's further out on the arm like this then you know it's not that great so if I push a button on my camera eh, not the best so as you can see it's actually pretty flexible but you know I can bring it down like this and my camera can you know go down to low shots down here like this and you know it it really is quite nice and then you can move it in and out so it really has a decent range from sort of right over here like this somewhere if I did that all the way right out to here so it has quite a decent uh, not even sure if that's in the shot but there you go has quite a decent range to it and I can move that upside down imagine if I had a joystick now it's looking a bit silly but uh, you know it can even get down low like that under the bench you know, really quite nice. And these are only sort of like quarter turn uh, clamps on these things. And it really does work quite nice. But as I said, you know, push the button. That's not the most stable thing, but it, it probably does the job. But there's two issues with that, that which really don't make it suitable for my particular work here. The first one is that on this uh, super clamp that I've got it mounted to, and I'll show you this in a minute, it doesn't move in and out. I made the silly assumption that I could rotate, that I could, you know, pivot this in over the bench like this and out. And well, I can do that, but I've got to undo that, press a button here, lift it up, and it's, you know, it's only fixed uh, locations, really. So it, it's, you know, it doesn't allow any pivoting in there there we go it's now it's in my bench a bit more i can rotate it again but you know it doesn't have a ball joint or anything like that on there and i just uh, i just assumed it sort of uh would allow me to sort of at least undo a screw here and move it in and out but well so that's just you know blowing it right there it's just not suitable for the job so in addition to needing something that swings in and out like that I uh, also need something that's a bit more fluid than sort of, you know, this uh, quarter clamp, quarter turn clamp. And the next thing, while I do like these, uh, this clamp mechanism, you can see the uh, ridges in there. So it, you know, it can't go at any arbitrary angle. It sort of locks in place and that's how it really keeps the rigid uh, nature of that. It's great for a single position. Uh, thing and I can slide that in and out like that is you, you know if you lube that up and with uh, time that would uh, probably get better but that's not the smoothest action really I would have preferred uh, smoother there but yeah I mean that's a really nice locking me mechanism but not good for just you know sometimes I've got to do you know 100 or 200 shots in a video and I'm always moving the camera around you know a good one hour video might have 200 shots in the thing and you know might have you know, 50 or 100 different angles or something like that so uh, you know I, I'm just subtly always moving the camera around so this isn't the best way to do it it's great for 
a fixed uh, camera or a fixed video camera, but no, the amount of times I move this thing around, this just doesn't work for me. But one thing I really do like is this uh, super clamp. And uh, you know, everyone raves about these. These are fantastic. They allow you to uh, clamp around uh, poles and things. It's got an, a pull out attachment like that so you can clamp it around you know, uh, poles or handrails or anything else that you want to do it. Or as you saw here, you can attach it to a flat bench and it really is incredibly grippy, incredibly stable. All this stuff is made in Italy, by the way. Um, you know, hi to all my Italian viewers. Absolutely fantastic quality. And it's got a uh, button here, which then allows you to, that's how you insert, well, that's how you insert that like that. You just pop, press that button down there and that just locks into place and you screw that up. But as I said, it do, once that's in, it doesn't allow you to rotate. If you want to rotate anything, you need some sort of additional ball joint uh, attached on top of here. But as I said, I also got one of these Manfrotto flexible arms and this is really good. I mean, this is really rigid, high quality, it can hold a lot of weight. I mean, my camera's only like, you know, this one's only like half a kilo or something, but you know, it really is quite nice and uh, it goes into uh, the various uh, camera this is the standard camera mount but as i said i'd probably get one of the uh, friction well i'd certainly get one of the joystick um, camera mounts that you can get from manfrotto as well and this can just sit inside my super clamp there and uh, this actually works pretty good imagine if i had a joystick head on that i'd be able to move that around no problems whatsoever and this allows me to come in out over down so that's really bloody you know that's almost ideal i but i would like a bit more reach so maybe i can get a second one and put it in a uh, series like that and uh you know it is pretty rigid i can you know press buttons on the camera so it's more rigid than this three section articulating arm and i really didn't expect that i thought oh yeah this would be you know okay for maybe i might want to uh permanently mount this on my bench up uh, uh, on the shelf here and then have that for like a second camera vertical shot permanently set up which i may actually uh, use that for but even on the bench here it's not too bad at all but yeah it doesn't have the thing is it doesn't have that big reach in and out like the three section articulating arm does it allows me to move the camera all the way along here and one of the ideas also was to mount something like this on my sliding mechanism under the bench here but i you know i'm not sure how stable that would be because i can't well i haven't come up with a really decent uh, solution for locking that sliding mechanism in place easily um, something like that so i think the bench mount like this is uh, probably the way to go but um, yeah I, I don't think I'm probably going to use this solution uh, for my main camera setup but what I can do possibly is get a new Manfrotto tripod that allows me to mount this flexible arm into it like this and then I can use this single section arm as my main camera and then I can have it come over so I can put this off to the side and have this come over like this. You can get mounting plates that you can screw this into and then I can have my camera come in down like that. So this could be a really good solution. I, I really like this. It's quite nice. <laughs> but just as it stands, this flexible arm and super clamp here really provides a nice uh, vertical solution. I just need a better uh, joystick mount as I said here because this uh, uh, camera mount here is uh, quite inflexible the standard one but uh, you know I can move that along because I don't often need to change the overhead shot like that because I've been doing something I'd usually move it under the camera like that so I'd flip out the screen I would do like that I can flip the image on the uh, screen or um, you know and it works quite well and the good thing about this is also that my uh, mics on the camera, not on this one, this is my secondary camera, my, my Canon HFG-10 are right on the front here. So they're right in front of my face, only inches away. So audio quality is going to be awesome for that. So um, this is definitely a keeper, this uh, super clamp plus this flexible arm, fantastic. But there's one other thing I might try first, which is the uh, Manfrotto uh, magic arm, it's called. And it's like I've got a single locking lever on it and it can you know, rotate in all sorts of directions. And it's got a ball pivot joint, which can uh, sit down here on the bench on the super clamp. So that should allow me to get over the bench. So I'll probably try that. Um, this thing, yeah, three section articulating arm, great for you know, fixed 
camera work, but not really good for the you know really um, you know fast changing uh, stuff which I have to do here on the blog. So there you go. That's just a few more things that I'm experimenting uh, with here. You really have to do get these things in and actually try them in situ to um, you know see if they're any good. So yeah, this thing didn't work out um, as I uh, sort of hoped. I had. Uh, high expectations of this. I probably should have got the uh, super clamp instead, which I will do now. So I'll resell that and I'll keep this uh, arm here really fantastic. I'll get some uh, Manfrotto joystick uh, things. You can see I'm a bit obsessed with uh, Manfrotto because all this stuff is going to interconnect and things like that. And uh, they do make top quality stuff, which all this gear is. It's fantastic. It's not uh, cheap at all, but hey, you know, um, if you want to uh, do serious uh, camera work, then you know, um, you really should be paying decent dollars. And yeah, I'm sure if you got any comments on this, yeah, please do leave them. But you know, as happened last time, I got a million people, I tend to exaggerate, maybe a thousand people tell me that I'm all doing it wrong and they've got their own way that they would do it. And oh, that's got to work. It's the best solution. So, so yes, I do read all the comments, but uh, yeah, um, please don't be offended if I don't think your idea is the duck's guts because everyone's got their own idea and it all comes down to what suits my particular uh, scenario and my uh, workflow here because it's all about uh, uh, the way I work, the flexibility I need to quickly uh, change shots and get camera angles and things like that. And there's no one best solution, really. I wish there was. I wish there was a camera that just magically floated in thin air and I just moved it there and boom, it just stayed there. You know, that'd be fantastic. But unfortunately, there's not. And when you start putting things on big articulating arms, as I said, like this, uh, you know, Maggie lamp and stuff like that, yeah, they work for some people, but for me, you know, it's it's just, no, it's going to be a complete uh, bodge. But I think I'm close to a solution. It'll either be a... Uh, uh, magic arm on a super clamp and I'll definitely leave these on the benches or maybe a flexible uh, arm on a new uh, tripod mount something like that with a joystick mount for the camera because I love these joystick mounts they're just beautiful oh, catch you next time